What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about what happens if you extrude objects um, in a circle using the follow me tool using different kinds of shapes. Um, if you're looking for more great SketchUp tips make sure to check out my free SketchUp tips guide at the sketchupessentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is more of a quick concept video. I did a video about this a long time ago about modeling different like stair pickets or stair balusters. And I just wanted to talk about this concept a little bit more because I think that the video got lost a little bit unless you were looking for stair pickets. But really what I wanted to talk about in this video real quick is just the uh, concept of the, the differences of shapes you can create when you're extruding with the fall me tool. So if you remember when you use the follow me tool you can extrude objects in a circle right so like for example if I was to create a circle right here and then let's say that I was to create another circle like this you could use this path in order to extrude or rotationally extrude this object into a circle. So you can see how what that does is that extrudes this circle along the other circle and uh, creates a shape. And I'll turn off hidden geometry and you can see how that just creates a shape that looks kind of like this. Well, what you can do is you can actually use that kind of a shape and you can extrude along a shape like this in a circle, but you can reduce the number of segments in order to change the kind of shape that you create. So like for example, let's say that instead of drawing a circle with 48 sides, I tap the C key to activate the circle tool and I draw a circle with five sides. You can see how what this does is this, instead of creating a circle like this, what it does instead is it creates a pentagon, so a five-sided shape. And so now let's say I was to draw another circle that had like 48 sides or something like that standing up right here and I was to extrude that along this path I could just activate the follow me tool so I would select this edge activate the follow me tool and then click on this and you can see how instead of getting a circle I get kind of a pentagon shape so that's kind of the general principle that we're talking about here well specifically what I want to talk about now is just the way you can apply that to creating different kinds of shapes in SketchUp so like for example generally speaking what we've done in the past when we rotationally extrude things using the follow me tool is we select a circle like this one one and we just extrude something in a circle so in this case this is a 48 sided circle and if I activate the follow me tool you can see how this extrudes into a cylinder so this kind of extrudes that face along an edge letting me create kind of a cylindrical shape well if we were to come over here and do the same thing with like a, a circle with eight segments you can see how you're gonna get a little bit of a different shape. In this case, it's still a cylinder, but there's a lot less faces in it. So this is something you can do to like reduce the amount of geometry in your model if you wanted to do that. But you can also use that to create more specific shapes. So like for example, this one, isn't really a cylinder anymore. It's more like a um, like a pentagon that's been extruded up and down. And then if we were to do that same thing over here, this would extrude this just along these four edges and it would create a rectangle. So you can see how that created this rectangular shape in here. So that's kind of the principle, but what this does is this allows you to create different kinds of shapes. So like for example, I could select this activate the follow me tool and you can see how that extrudes into a very simple shape with a curve just like this like a four-sided shape so it has a distinctly different style than if I was to do the same thing over here with the circle so you can see how the reason that is is because this is taking this shape or this profile and it's extruding it in a circle along this curve. So what you can do is you can use this to create different styles and different things like that inside of SketchUp. And so one area where this can be helpful is if you're creating things like stair pickets or stair balusters or something like that. Let's say that you were to draw the profile of a stair baluster so let's say it was going to be probably not 11 feet high. Let's say it was going to be four feet high, something like that. And let's say we came in here and we just kind of drew out a profile and we'll make it a very simple profile. It'll just have a rectangle and then maybe it'll have kind of an arc or something like that. 
maybe another rectangle right here, just something that's very simple. So kind of a simple shape looks a little bit like this. So if we were to create a stair baluster or a stair picket, and I'm gonna make a couple copies of this so we can look at a couple different ways of doing this. Um, if we were to if we were to extrude this using the follow me tool along the rectangle, what you would get is you would get a very square looking stair baluster, something like that. Well, if you were to come in here and do that same thing with a circle that has maybe like six segments in it, and then to select this, you get a little bit of a smoother shape, but it's something that's still very distinct. And then if you were to do the same thing where we draw like a 48 sided circle, and then do the same thing here. You can see how what that does is that allows you to create different styles of things using the follow me tool to extrude objects along these curves. So at the moment, this is more of a concept video than anything else. If you're interested, I could make a video showing you how to use this a little bit more practically in a few different ways, but I wanted to get the idea out there and have you guys thinking about ways that you can create different and new shapes like this inside of your models. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful or interesting to you? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.